so don't you think it would be best to use a combination of both parallel and tapered post and the answer lies in the combo product which is available by the name of tenax fiber post tenax fiber post has a unique geometrical design it is parallel in the cornel and middle part and is tapered in the apical part this way it can have excellent retention without compromising on the structural integrity of radicular dentine also it has grooves at the junction of the parallel and the tapered part which provide extra retention the third factor which can increase the retention is the cement used for luting of the fiber post as already discussed dual cure resins fit into the system pretty well and the one which i use in my clinical practice is paracore this cement wonderfully creates a mono block effect which ensures the success of my procedure this one cement i use for three purposes i use paracore for luting of my tenax fiber post then i use the same paracore for my core build up thereafter once my crowns are ready i use paracore again for luting of my crowns so one cement for all the three jobs and thus creating a perfect monoblock many practitioners often ask me dr harpreet why you insist on so many specifications in the luting protocol for instance why use a non rinse conditioner for the conditioning of dentine in post space why not simply use an acid agent which is already available in my dental clinic well the answer is pretty simple one the agent is very strong and must be used only for enamel we always condition the dentine and never etch it secondly it will be very difficult for you to completely wash out the entire agent from the post space isn't it the conditioners on the other hand need not be washed off just the extra conditioner is dried using the paper bonds after this i'm fired with the next question that's okay but why can't i use a conventional dentine bonding agent why do you use a special chemical cured bonding agent the answer to this is that if you are using a conventional dentine bonding agent in post space and then curing it with your led the light will never be able to reach up to the entire depth of the post space and thus the bonding agent in the deepest part will stay uncured this would eventually lead to the failure of your restoration therefore i use chemically cured bonding agent which does not need light for its activation let's now talk about the resistance trial the first factor which can enhance the resistance form is the use of an anti rotation groove this feature is not much applicable as far as the fiber posts are concerned the second factor is the crown bevel which refers to the fact that ideally the margins of your crown should rest on the natural tooth structure all around the circumference ideally at least 1.5 mm of supra gingival natural tooth structure must be present circumferentially for a good crown bevel in case there is no sufficient tooth structure present above the gingival margin a simple crown lengthening procedure can expose the natural tooth structure if you ask me I use electro cautery perfect TCS for this purpose as it gives me a quick result with a bloodless field with its dual function of cutting and coagulation it makes my life much easier when doing crown lengthening procedure i can finish my preparations 
and impressions in the very same visit, thus saving a lot of chair side time. The next important thing to be taken care of for adequate resistance form is to have an ideal ferrule. A ferrule, in simple words, refers to the circumferential encompassing of the cervical part of the tooth. Clinically, it means that the crown margins should rest on the sound tooth structure all around the circumference of the tooth. For an ideal ferrule, at least a 1.5 to 2 millimeter of healthy tooth structure must be present supragingivally all along the circumference of the tooth. And the axial walls should be near parallel after preparation. Also, the crown margins should not invade the attachment apparatus. Let us now have a look at the step-by-step -step procedure of performing post and code. To begin with, post piece preparation has to be done using piezo reamers number 1 and number 2, followed by the use of post piece preparation drills matching to the post system you are planning to use. For example, in this case of mine, I have used TINAX fiber post system and its matching drills. After the use of every piezo or drill, please irrigate with normal saline to wash out the remnants of the gutta percha. Thereafter, you may take a radiograph to verify the extent of your intended post space preparation depth. The ideal post space preparation depth has already been discussed in the previous slides. Now is the time to condition the dentine. After placing an appropriate matrix, one should use a non-rinse conditioner in the post space preparation as well as in the pulp chamber. In this case, I have used NRC from Paracore kit. One should apply this for 30 seconds on the dentine and then absorb extra from the post space using paper points. Next is to apply a chemically cured bonding agent. One drop of base and one drop of catalyst of para bond is mixed in a mixing well and then applied in the pore space as well as in the pulp chamber for 30 seconds. After that, the extra is absorbed from the pore space using paper points and the extra in the pulp chamber is air dried gently. The dual cure lutein resin cement, para core in this case, is then mixed and the matching fiber post is coated with the cement and placed passively into the post space and then light cured. I have used Tinax 1.1 size drill for post space preparation in this case. So I have used a matching 1.1 sized Tinax fiber post too. Since this luting cement is a dual cure resin, the cement will set even if the light does not reach the entire depth of the post space preparation. The same dual cure resin, Paracore, is then used to fill the entire pulp chamber to build the core. And then it is light cured. After this, the matrix is removed and the crown preparation is done in the same visit. Also, the impressions are made in the very same visit to save on time and multiple appointments. Once my crowns are ready from the lab, I would use the same para core to lute my crowns. So, one cement used for three purposes, that is luting of post, core buildup and luting of the crown and thus providing a perfect monoblock. Here is another case of maxillary central incisor where the step-by-step -step procedure of luting the post followed by a core buildup has been demonstrated. So ladies and gentlemen, the final verdict for this procedure can be declared that it is not the beauty of a building that you should look at. It is the construction of the foundation that will stand the test of time as said by David Allen Cope. 
it's time to sign off now. I'm leaving here my details of mobile number and email ID for you to contact in case of any query. Thank you very much for your valuable time and patience. Stay blessed.